Why do we need to save people? Paras Zakim Usman. Do disasters happen when people don't think about the future? And why are people nasty to all other animals? Ellie Mae, Isabel and Thierry. Philosophy for Children is a wonderful way in which children set the theme that they want to discuss. The key thing is that the awareness at a young age is passed on to the children. And rather than just being told something or taught it from a class teacher, and then they don't maybe perhaps know what to do with that, it just sort of rattles around in their head, not knowing where to turn or what to do. They now get a forum through a philosophical session where they can discuss it, where they can bounce ideas, where they can ask questions that have perhaps been prompted by teacher discussion. And the teacher simply moderates the discussion. I also believe that the whole training of philosophy for children is a very good training to embolden them and give them courage to speak to adults and have dialogue with adults. And we've heard from talking to the parents how the children at home have been having conversations at home about saving energy and they haven't um, been intimidated by their parents' lack of knowledge or their parents' resistance. They've managed to win their parents over in a very kind of um, light-hearted way, you might say, to being uh, on side for saving energy. I'm very pleased that uh, they teach children in this age about the environment, which is good. And he's been coming home and turning off the lights, and I said, what's wrong with that? <laughs> and he said, no, Daddy, we've got to save the energy, this and that, now all these things. Other things as well about the car, which is when the winter finishes, you have to promise we have to walk from home to school, which is that's, that kind of things, which is I'm very happy uh, to hear that. The big one was about the shower. Now, don't warm the shower up, and then walk off and go and get something. You shouldn't do it. Or don't run... Um, the tap while you clean your teeth. We are going on a final walk. It's very important for children to understand that they are part of a territory. Being a member of community is understanding our local territory. What we did was to use ways of indigenous mapping. Obviously, this is a different kind of territory to the one that we are mapping here in Newham. But we still have the same essentials. We still have where does our water come from, the River Thames. We still have where does our food come from, in as much as we map the supermarkets. We map shelter in the form of houses. We map our energy source in Barking Power Station. That big tower over there is called a pylon, and it the strings passes to schools and um, homes to make electricity. Going on the pylon walk, looking at the power lines or the pylons up above as we went was a very important way both of understanding how energy is transmitted but also looking at the landscape in a new way. So all these things became part of the map and it's a way of understanding how we function within a network of life support systems. Our whole project has been about the environment, so we needed to get out into our environment and to really interact with it and understand it. What has been nice for them is that it's been a real kinesthetic experience. It's been so hands-on, and as a result, they have more of an understanding than sort of a classroom setting, being talked at, you know, um, and then sitting and solving problems on a, with a paper and pen. Experiential learning is absolutely key, I think to learning about issues around climate change. We're looking at a project or a program that's happening locally. In this case, it's Barking Power Station and the London Development Agency's plans to create a heat main that takes waste heat from Barking Power Station into Barking Village, into the rest of Newham. And when we took the children there, we had excellent tours by the staff of the power station. And then we were able to visit the control room of the power station and understand how the power station is operated. And this experience has really stayed with the children. I think for them it probably was the high point of the whole project.